Hey, in today's Shape It Up video, we are talking about how to make your New Year's resolution stick. Welcome to the Shape It Up channel. My name is Nicole Simonin. I'm really glad you are here. If you are new, thank you for checking out Shape It Up. If you have been here frequently, thank you so much for following me. Um, I know that I've been actually off for a little bit. I wanted to enjoy time with my family over the holidays and just kind of recharge a little bit. Um, so we are back in full swing in 2020, January, and there's a lot going on at Shape It Up um, behind the scenes that I'm very excited to share with you. So make sure you stay in touch with Shape It Up, follow me on Facebook, and you will be all in the know as to what's going on. I can't wait to share it with you. But today, we are talking about how to make your New Year's resolutions stick. Um, so in January, most people are setting New Year's resolutions. Um, you might call them a goal or you might call them New Year's resolutions. I'm finding that most people are ditching the phrase New Year's resolution. And I think it's because resolutions have a horrible track record of not being successful. Did you know that 80% of the people that start a New Year's resolution do not stick with it? That's 80%, that's a huge number. By mid-February, maybe March, they are ditching their goals already. And I think that's why most people are not calling it New Year's resolutions anymore and they're just calling it a goal or maybe they're already like had a goal from last year and they're just carrying it over. Um, but I want to ask you, do you want to be in the 80th percent or do you want to be in the 20th percent where every, those are the people that are succeeding? So regardless of whether you call it a resolution or a goal, I'm hoping that at least you have set some idea of what you want to accomplish, whether it's this year or whether it's a five-year plan, it doesn't matter. Um, so why do I think you need to have a goal? Because I think goals really help move you forward. I know for me personally, um, if you followed me for any length of time, you know that I was training for the bikini contest or the fitness contest, and um, they wound up canceling that contest that I was scheduled for, um, and there was no other opportunity for me to do any in that month um, of the federations that I wanted to do. So. I found that I didn't have a goal in December and I kind of felt a little lost and I was like, Oh, what should I do with myself? Um, that of course doesn't last very long with me because I love making goals. Um, I think that goals move you forward. They help you evolve to become a better version of you. So here are my suggestions on how to stay in the 20th percentile people that succeed with their new year's resolutions. Um, the best suggestions I can give you to give you the best chance to stick with those New Year's resolutions or your goals way past February. All right, so how many years have you had the same goal? And if you've had the same goal over and over, and a lot of times the people that come to me are always like, I have tried to lose weight year after year after year, and that might be you. Why haven't you achieved it yet? What is the reason? Why do you keep repeating the same goal over and over and over? I mean, for some people, this goal has been like 30 years. You may start off well-intended in January, but by mid-February, you know, or March, or even sometimes a little later than that, why does it seem to tank? What, what is it that you're not doing to keep you propelling forward in that goal? Um, this is what I work on with my clients. I like to figure out the why, why they do the things they do. And that really stems from when I was struggling with that because um, I kept repeating the same things and having the same goal year after year. And I was like, what is my problem? Why can't I figure this out? And it was very frustrating for me. Um, and then I, I figured it out. I found out how to do it and it's all in your mindset. This is why Shape It Up has kind of evolved into what it is. Um, it's always been focused on fitness and nutrition, but man, the mindset part is like, 
it's amazing how much it plays into um, and how important it is for you to reach your goals. So this is why I dive into it with my clients and um, everybody's individualized and unique and not everybody has the same background or the same thoughts or the same environment that they live in. So it's very different. And that again is why I tailor all my programs to that individual client. Um, so we need to talk about awareness of where you currently are. Um, we all like to just like dive in and, and pick a goal and go for it. And what I would like to suggest is just take a second and really get real and look at where you are. If weight loss is your goal, find out what your current weight is. Get on that scale or take your measurements or find a pair of pants that are snug. Um, make sure they're not like stretchy pants. Um, like jeans are really good good way to measure uh get a pair of jeans out put them on are they tight are they tight in certain areas use those as guidelines you need to have something to measure your results by um so once you find out those hard facts then i like to dive into why you want to change and why do you want to lose the weight if your answer is because or i just want to feel better you really need to dig much deeper. Um, my suggestion would be to get a piece of paper out and write down a minimum, minimum <laughs> of 50 reasons why you wanna lose weight. Um, if you're writing things that bring up a lot of emotion for you, those are the ones that you wanna tap into and really pay attention to because those are probably the things that are holding you back. Um, I suggest you hold on to this paper of your 50 reasons because you're going to need to pull it out on the days that you just don't want to work out or you just don't want to eat what you need to eat to get to your goals. You just don't want to. <laughs> that's your just don't want to have reasons to do it. Um, so hold on to that piece of paper. Um, then you need to figure out where you want to go. What you really want to achieve. And I want you to dream big. No, I want you to dream huge. Make it like really dive in and, and dream and imagine what is really gonna light you up. What excites you about this goal? If I could wave a magic wand and give you the life that you desperately desire, what do you want? What do you wanna see when all is said and done? That's what I say to my clients when they start. What do you wanna see when all is said and done? Um, if weight loss is your goal, looking good at your dream weight, that is not your real goal. It's what you feel and think about that dream weight. So here's some examples. Fill in the blank. When I am at my whatever pounds or inches or size you want to insert there, your goal weight, I will feel, insert whatever you feel when you're at that goal weight. So you could feel sexy, you could feel fit, you could feel strong, you could feel accomplished. There's all kinds of things that you could feel and everybody's totally different. Um, think about when I'm there, what do I think? Do you feel like you're in control? Do you feel like you're a badass? Do you feel like you're a role model to your kids? Do you feel more worthy? These are things that you need to kind of chew on and see what resonates for you. Okay, so we talked about the where you currently are and where you wanna go. Now we gotta figure out all that stuff in the middle. <laughs> this is where I come in and I think this is the fun part because in order for someone to become what you say you want, you need to become a different person. And it's not, let me rephrase that, you need to become a different version of yourself. So think about that. In order for you to get what you say you want, you need to become a different version of yourself. You need to become different. And the you that you currently are at is the you that got you to the place you are at right now. I know that could be kind of confusing, but basically what it means is whatever you're doing now is giving you the results that you have right now. So if you are trying to lose weight and say nothing is happening, 
the things that you are doing on a daily basis, the thoughts that you are thinking on a daily basis are why you are not losing weight. Um, so you have to evolve. You have to become a different version of yourself. And I, a lot of people are just so comfortable in who we currently are. And it can be scary. It can be very frightening to be like, what do you mean? I have to like totally like change everything about me? Not necessarily. Um, but you do need to make changes. Cause like I said, if you, if you had made the changes, you would have been already where you needed to be for your goals. Um, a lot of times we have a lot of beliefs, limiting beliefs that you can or cannot do something or you should or shouldn't do something. And these are the beliefs that we like to dive into and kind of figure out why you do the things that you do. You do have some beliefs that are helpful and they serve you in, in certain aspects. Those we want to hold on to, but the ones that are holding you back are the ones that we want to tweak and change a little bit. Um, so letting go of this current version of you can be really challenging. You are going to be doing a lot of things that make you uncomfortable um, a lot of the time, <laughs> right? Like reporting to your trainer and when you haven't done a workout or explaining why you didn't do a workout or explaining different aspects. Um, I do not judge my clients at all. I know I've been on both sides, like as far as, um, you know, you just got to be honest with yourself, but I don't, I don't ever judge my clients on what they did or didn't do. So if they dove into a bag of potato chips one night, that's fine. That was the choice that they made. It doesn't make them a horrible person. Um, but there's things like you're going to have to pass on very tempting foods. And within my online program, I actually have a whole module on how to change the way you think about those tempting foods. Um, you learn how to stop overeating and learn how to really sit with your emotions. Um, your family and friends are going to have to adjust to the new version that you are. That can be really challenging because if you have a, um, depending on the dynamics in your family, that can be like, you know, they're, they're losing their child type thing, but you're going to evolve into a better version of yourself. Um, so you will need to kind of go through your own version of hell in order to get what you say you want to get that don't take this out of context. That doesn't mean I'm saying you have to do extreme workouts or extreme dieting because that is not the case. It's more of a mental hell, I think, than um, actually a physical, like beating your body down. Like I don't subscribe to that. I don't think, especially ladies over 40, you do not need to be doing power lift movements or Olympic lifting movements unless that's your job or, or that's what you really desire to do. Um, most women that I train, they have workouts that are not extreme. Their diets are not extreme. I wouldn't even call it a diet. It's more of just how they eat. So are you ready to be miserable and uncomfortable until you achieve your goal? Many are initially. That's why they get that big burst of like, yeah, let's do this in New Year's resolution goal. And then it starts to get hard. And then they stop. <laughs> Um, again, I work on this daily with clients and I work on what is holding them back. Really weight loss is simple in theory. Um, eat less, move more. It's the emotions and the stories that we like to tell ourselves, which make the whole process hard and challenging. And it makes you want to give up. If you can learn the tools to take all the drama out of the process, it becomes so much easier. And dare I say, simple. If this resonated with you and you want to learn more about how I work with clients, you can head over to shapeitupfitness.com. Thank you so much for being here. Um, like I said, I have lots of exciting things to coming out in 2020 for Shape It Up. I can't wait to share them with you. I'm really excited about them. Remember to get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. If you want to learn more about Shape It Up, go head over to shapeitupfitness.com and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.